Hey howdy hey partners, today we have the big baby mod from Toy Story 3. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey howdy hey partners, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, as we're on our way to 100,000 subs. Hey howdy hey partners, really excited to show off my big baby from Toy Story 3. I've been doing this mod, I've been working on it for a long time because I wanted to get it accurate as possible. So I learned that the American Girl Doll Company was the one that made the Bitty Baby series, which has been around for decades. I'm not sure what year it started, but this is modeled after Big Baby in Toy Story 3. And I kept looking and looking around and I realized, okay, there's the best of both of these dolls. Although to you, they might look the same. To me, these look very different. Now what I did to this big baby already is I modded the eye already because this is the head sculpt I want to go with. If you look at Big Baby in Toy Story 3, Big Baby has eyebrows. You see that over the eyes? And some of the other American Girl dolls the, for the Bitty Baby series don't have the eyebrows. So I needed to get this one because this is the perfect head sculpt. It's blonde, faded, kind of old and used. I found this on eBay. And then I used little uh, Zot Sticky tape and I shoved it with scissors on top of the eyelid and then I kind of close the eye so it stays closed because otherwise it would stay open uh, when you lay down the doll's design to close the eye and also if you notice the eyeball this looks most like Big Baby's blue eye in Toy Story 3 it's very bright vibrant blue so I thought this was the most perfect doll I added the green mark um, is like a pen marker and red there I already kind of scribbled on it I looked at the screen caps from the movie to copy it so I kind of just did my best to copy that, but this is the perfect head sculpt. The only problem with this body is that it's pink and there's a star there. It's not removable. So I didn't like the pink jumpsuit because in the movie it looks a little bit more gray or dark color. So I practiced, <laughs> you can notice I scribbled on this big baby. I looked at the screen caps and I practiced on it because I wanted to look accurate to the movie. So I practiced my scribbles, but I'm going to actually not use this body, just this head because I want to use this one. So this uh, Bitty Baby doll has a better jumpsuit. It's not as pink, it's supposed to be like a boy, I think. And it's flawless condition, so I can make my own scribbles on the arms and legs and stuff. Uh, I just didn't like the head sculpt. You can see why I went with this one over this one, because this doesn't have eyebrows, and this does, like the movie. This doesn't have bright colored blue eyes, like this one does. So to me, this looks like Big Baby from Toy Story 3, except I didn't like the pink body. I loved the color of this because this looks closer to the movie. So we have to do a head swap. I'm going to transfer this head onto this body and then I'm going to transfer the scribbles over to make the most accurate big baby I can from looking at the movie. Lucky for me on these dolls, uh, it has strings so I can just get in here and untie it and hopefully the head comes off very easy. So I'm working on this knot to loosen it and it's actually not very hard to do it's just a lot of knots once I do that then guess what the head easily comes off after you open the string back up and look there you go you have the big baby head separated from the body and I could probably transfer the other head back on this one here's big baby's head um, pretty cool looks exactly like uh, Toy Story 3 big baby I love this and now when I transfer it on the more accurate body not with the pink body it's gonna look better so same thing on this doll, I'm going to untie this and take this head off so I can put the good one on the better body. This one was just a couple knots on the other doll, so I was able to take that head off very easily as well, so you can see what that looks like. So here's what the heads look like off their bodies. You can see why I went with this one. I think this looks so good. The blonde's a little too blonde in here, it's more faded in the movie, so I really like that. Although they're both kind of used and they look cool. Um, I definitely think the blue eyes are nailed and the, having that little, you know, eyebrows right here is very essential to the character. So awesome. Time for the head swap. So because it's the same company, you know, same size, basically, this should fit just fine. It just did. So now that I got that in there, I'm going to tie this really well again to get it nice and tight on there. All right. So I made a tight knot and then I cut the string that was excess because I don't want it to look... It wasn't like that in the movie, so I cut it off. And you can see he still has head articulation. And if I hold him by the head, he's not gonna fall off the body. It's actually pretty solid. So it worked out, it worked out for the mod. Now the body is way better. And as you can see here from the pink body to the more 
I don't know, it's just like a darker color. This looks more accurate to the movie than the body here. So the only thing I have to add now is just the markings onto the arms and legs and feet and stuff. Uh, but other than that, it's a great big baby. And I think this looks really cool. And I got lucky that they weren't that expensive on eBay. I think they cost me about 30 or $40 each. So if you stock the auctions, you'll get lucky. And so I was able to buy two to make the perfect Big Baby. Here it is, Big Baby from Toy Story 3, as accurate as I can make them, based on reference files that I saw on screen and what I thought looked like Big Baby. I think this looks super cool. And obviously there's improvements I can do, but I really like the red mark on his cheek because that was seen in the movie, the little green mark on his neck. That was definitely there. I used like a pen and I rubbed it with my finger to like make it look a little bit more blotchy. And here's like another side tattoo. Uh, here's another drawing on his arm. Uh, some marks here. His toes were kind of like painted, colored in a little bit. I didn't want to do it too dark, but that's how it was in the movie. And then he had this like purple mark thing on his knee. So I tried my best to make it accurate as possible with the drawing on the back as well of his neck. So I thought this came out really well. And so you can see just how much more it looks like Big Baby. The eyes aren't blue enough on this one. Too pink of an outfit. But it was a good uh, it was a good doll to get so I can get the body accurate. So, And then I found this on eBay. It's the disappearing milk thing. So when you drink it, it looks like he drank it and it disappears. So my idea what to put in his hand was to get like a stretch cord so I could put it around his wrist. Here we go, Big Baby again, but this time he's holding his milk bottle like we saw in the movie. It was really cool that I found it exactly like it. It might be a little too big for him, but it's close enough. I mean, it's cool that it can fit on his wrist with a stretchy cord, so it's pretty cool for display. It's a nice, neat idea I thought of last minute. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of my Big Baby mod? Do you think it was successful? I definitely think it looks like the movie. I mean, especially looking at the head here, I think it definitely looks spot on to Big Baby. And uh, it looks awesome. I think this was really cool. It was easy to do this mod. It was just harder to find the right doll head to do it and the right doll body to do it. So if you guys can source this on eBay, that's where I recommend finding these because I don't think you can buy these in the store anymore. But on eBay, you should be able to find this big baby doll with these bright blue eyes, just like we see in the film. And then adding a sticky tape up here by the eyelid, you can get it to get stuck, which you want because it was broken in the movie as well. Here's my Disney Store Lotso next to Big Baby, and here is Toy Story Collection 2009 Cloud Pattern Woody. So you can kind of see like the height difference. Uh, Lotso sitting down, but Big Baby's accurate height to the movie. I think this is where he was around. So it looks awesome in my opinion. I think it's a great addition to your Toy Story Collection. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching these videos. I'm super excited to hit 100,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Thanks to all you partners for the support and the continued support. I want to give away some Toy Story toys soon, so all you have to do to be part of it is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, see you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, you're, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.